welcome back to the Frontier channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can mine Bitorium. Okay, so before we do jump into the tutorial, let's just take a little look over at the price and how Bitorium's working and doing at the moment. Okay, so what I like to do before I start mining the coin is I like to do a little bit of research and just make sure that this is the type of coin that I would like to mine and make sure that for my setup that it's going to be a profitable coin or even a worthwhile speculative venture for yourself so what you need to do is find out your own hash rates for ghost ride algorithm and then fill those in with your correct full hash rate for what you guys would receive so for my rigs in total i'll get an average of around about 8,000 hash so this is currently how it's looking for myself let's just recalculate it just to make sure i can see if it's updated and as you can see at the moment it does keep fluctuating between yerbus raptarium and bitorium not sure why that's currently in red at the moment. Let's have a look hover over there. Last update one hour ago. Okay, so that just means it hasn't updated on there. That's fine. Let's take a little look over at CoinGecko and have a look at his price. So this is the 24 hour chart. So the price has been jumping up and down. That's probably just because of people jumping on mine on and off. Let's have a look at the seven day chart. Looking pretty good for, for a steady chart, but it has been moving up and down. And let's take a little bit look on a longer scale. So compared to quite a few of the other coins that are currently there at the top profitable list, you know, that is looking, you know, quite, a, you know, pretty stable. Yeah, you know I mean, coin in, in comparison to some of the other coins that I've seen. So that's not too bad. Like I say, it hasn't been out for that long from the looks of it. Let's have a look on a, on a one year scale. It's gone max. Okay. But yeah, see, so it hasn't fluctuated too much, hasn't dumped very heavy or anything like that. It says from its all-time high, it's six and sixty-eight percent down. But overall, I do believe that this coin so far has been pretty, pretty, pretty steady so far, and its profits seem to be, or should say, most of the time it does seem to be, you know, up near the top of the profitability list. Let's do another calculate on there, see if it does anything, change anything on there. No, it doesn't. Okay. Before you start mining Bitorium, you're going to need to get yourself a Bitorium wallet or you're going to need to get yourself some type of wallet address from either an exchange. So what I will do is I will leave the link in the description for you guys, bitorium.org. And what you're going to need to do is just press download and follow the instruction process through with the Bitorium wallet. And once you've installed that, you can then take your Bitorium wallet from there and then we'll use that in a later part in the video but for now just make sure that if you're using Windows press on the download and then follow the actual downloads on there but for myself at this specific point I will not be using the Bitorium wallet I'm going to be using an exchange wallet so let's just go over here I was looking at Meow coin there because I noticed that it was fluctuating at the top so type in BTRM Bitorium and deposit and grab yourself your Bitorium address and then what you're going to need to do after you've got yourself some type of place to deposit your Bitorium once it's mined is find yourself to github.com and I will leave a link as well also for this in the description for you guys and then what you're going to need to do is download the XMR rig 6.18.00 GGC win 64 bit assuming that this is Windows that you guys are currently running on at the moment. Now once you've downloaded that, it will go into your downloads folder. Now depending on whether you have it installed or not, you may need 7-zip or WinRAR. Okay, so what you need to do is open this up, extract this folder, so drag and drop it to your desktop. I'm going to replace the files even though I've already got mine just set there on the this desktop ready for us guys here and then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up ourselves a bat file so that this can run so let's take ourselves back over to the Btorium wallet uh, website and if we press on mining pools it will open up a selection of Btorium mining pools that's currently available on and as you can see at the moment our plan is right there slammed back at the top and that's holding 77% of the known hash rate at the moment. Now, because I don't want to get involved in any of the, uh, you know, more than 50% hash rates on, you know, one specific pool, let's take a look at 
reserve pool. Actually, to be fair, if you can see the amount of miners that our plant has compared to reserve pool, I'm assuming that's where some of the big heavy hitters um, have have their hash rate on there. I can see. So let's take ourselves over to reserve pool. And okay. So no offense to reserve pool, but this is a very um, I would say it's a very uh, confusing site to look through. I was trying to find a polite word to say. <laughs> okay, so I completely scratched what I said about Zerg Pool. I uh, tried to set myself a bat file up with them and didn't work, and it also hasn't worked prior when I've tried with other coins. Maybe it's uh, myself, maybe I don't really know how to set one up with them, but for some reason it just uh, never seems to work perfectly for myself. So let's move ourselves back uh, to. Uh, our plant. This pool has more than 50% hash rate. Let's load in. Let's have a look down the side and see if we can find Bitorium. It's right there at the top. It is press connect. I also do agree with that. Please do not mind to an exchange wallet. In my situation, uh, I am recommending you guys to download the wallet. But as I say for myself, I'm currently going to be using the Exchange Wallet purely on the basis that I do know uh, that it will, re will be received there because I've tested it out many times prior. And also, it will only be small amounts that will be sent across to there. Okay, so what we're going to need to do so that we can mine Bitorium on our plant is select the mine that we're going to use. So we've downloaded XM Rig, currently using Windows operating system. I'm in Europe. What we're going to need to do is paste in. That was the old script from the other one. So for myself, I have my Bitorium wallet address on my tradeogre.com. As I say, you can have yours because of the wallet that you may have downloaded. You can do the exact same way if the way that I've done if you have yourself a Tradeogre wallet. So paste your wallet address in there, name that exactly what you'd like. And what we're going to need to do is come down here and copy and paste all of this for the minor script so copy and paste and let's go back to the desktop where we had our XM rig so what we're going to do is open or create ourselves a new text document so maybe I'll just do that again for you guys just so that you're aware so new text document Call it BT uh, M our uh, plant just so we know where it's going to open that up and control V or right click and paste the script that you just copied from our plant save as and what you need to do is put in lowercase full stop and then bat and that will create a executable file and assume that we set this up correctly uh, in, like I said not like the other one that I just tried there with uh, the other pool this should run immediately okay and it's working as you can see there there is an error saying fail to apply MSR mod hash rate will be low so what you're going to need to do is just close that off right click the XM rig that's here press properties go to compatibility and press run this program as administrator so that means the next time that you run this, the MSR mod will be applied and your hash rates will be increased. So let's just do that again. Okay. So let's press run anyway on that because it's safe. And press yes again. And there we go. So now we're, uh, we are successfully mining on our plant pool for Bitorium. So what I'd recommend there guys, if you know if you guys yourself uh, do know how to set yourself up on on, on Zerg pool then definitely do set yourself up so you don't have to put more more than 50% of the hash rate onto the pool. Um, but there you go guys, you should be successfully mining Bitorium and if you guys uh, would like to see any other coins on any how to's on how to mine them, please do let us know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.